Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mods 7. We are back on our little uh, private server. The public server's still doing its thing. I don't think it's, you know, <laughs> fallen down just yet. Um, so that's pretty good. Hopefully you guys are having fun. In the last episode, we, we did some mining. We, we did, we didn't do it all off camera. You know, it wasn't, a, it wasn't one of those situations, but we got some stuff. Surprisingly, we've almost got more diamonds than we do copper and gold, um, but we did get a decent amount of iron. Um, a lot of it we turned into dust, um, if I can take that out. Yep, there we go. Uh, but we did smelt up some. Oh yeah, we ran out of uh, the little bits of coal. Um, we got some, where are we? Some charcoal bits. It, we, we can, we're fine, <laughs> is what I'm saying. Um, on top of that, we made some tools to help us go mining. Um, so for example, we've got this iron hammer. It can mine in a 3x3. Three three. Uh, we did have a pickaxe. I don't really know where I've gone ahead and placed that, but... It existed at some point. I'm, I'm guessing I've chucked it in here. Yeah, we've got this pickaxe here. So this stuff needs to be um, repaired, which I'll try to figure out how to do. I, I know how to do it. It's just, I've got to do it. You know what I mean? I've got to put the effort in. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. Um, one thing I can do right now, um, which was actually told to me in the comments by um, Screamer22222, and that is over here. So in the start of the last episode, or at some point in the last episode, we set up our farmer um, to... He was already putting wheat in there, but we set him up to put seeds in the back using um, one of these item pipes, if I can sort of try to get through here. Um, and that works. That's pretty cool. But the point was made that um, as much as that makes sense, I could just replace the hopper entirely with those pipes. And then the benefit is we get to keep our pipes. So I can disconnect that and we can set that to extract. Ta-da! <laughs> that, sh that should just work. It should, you know, the items sit in here. And they'll go where they're needed. Awesome. How much toast do we have, by the way? 133. Nice. We're doing good. Um, now, in the toast department, there's a few things I want to do. Um, there's a few things we need to do this episode. And yeah, so I'll, I'll sort of walk you through that a little bit. The first thing I want to do is at some point, make a um, sophisticated backpack, right? These guys, they're like the backpack we have. They won't give us night vision, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, but one thing they can do is that there is um, these modules here, feeding upgrades. Feeding upgrade, feeds the player with food from storage's inventory. How does that work in a barrel? <laughs> How does that make sense? Because the backpack upgrade, right? You place it in your backpack, you place food in your backpack, and it feeds you because you're wearing it. I don't know how that works on a backpack. Oh, sorry, on, a, on like a barrel or on a storage chest. That makes no sense to me. Um, <laughs> We may have to try that out just for the sake of trying it out. Um, although we need an ender pearl, melons, carrots, golden... I don't think we have that stuff, so we'll put that on the back burner. But it, it's something that I want you to be aware of because, it, I mean, it saves you time, right? You don't have to eat anymore. Um, so this episode, I would like to automate wood. Um, I don't really know if we're going to get away with it, but I'm going to try. Um, and to do that, I'm going to set up a minecart track and I'm going to have a contraption rolling around this minecart track um, chopping trees along its path and hopefully planting trees. That is the part that I forgot. Hmm. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. Um, now, uh, chopping the trees, having the minecart go around. That's honestly the easy part. I, I genuinely think that's the easy part. The tricky part's going to be making sure that the, uh, the plants get placed again. And, and there's a few ways to do that, right? The way to do it within the contraption is with this guy, a deployer from Create. It would need a brass hand and an electron tube. They're sort of the two tricky parts, right? The brass hand needs brass, so I've got to go ahead and make brass, which I don't even know how it would do. We need brass dust, we need copper and zinc. Like, it's doable, but I've got to make, like, something to crush it. I guess I could use the hammer. Okay, so it's not that difficult. Okay, so the brass is sure. Um, but then the electron tube. This guy needs rose quartz, and that needs... Well, it needs quartz, and... I don't have quartz. So, that's sort of where we're at. Now, apparently, if I bulk wash crushed gold, we could get quartz. That seems really good. <laughs> it genuinely seems really good. A 50% chance as well. The problem is, I would need to not only make a fan that blows water, which we've got one over here, but I'd obviously need to make a new one for this gold. Um, but to get your hands on the crushed um, gold, I don't really know how easy that would be to find. Um, hold on. Here we go. Shortcut. I would need to make crushing wheels. 
And crushing wheels, okay, anti alloys, sure, that's not too tricky. But I need 21 mechanical crafters, which need brass casings and electron tubes, and we're right back to square one. So, as good as that would be as an option, it's a bit tricky. Now, alternatives to, to replacing um, saplings. We may just have something that just plants stuff. We'll search planter. Um, okay, we don't. <laughs> um, we could search... I know that some mods call them a sower. Nope. Um, we could even set up like a builder zoned off to only place saplings in a certain area. That could be a fun way to, um, problem to solve that, but uh, it's kind of messy. Um, I don't actually know how else you would do this because is there any other way to automate the cutting of trees? Obviously we're early on in the pack here, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's not. Um, but in saying that, I'd be surprised if there's not, <laughs> but it kind of looks like there's not. So yeah, maybe I just have to suck it up and get myself some, some nether quartz. Well, I, you know what? It's actually going to be extremely easy because um, we have obsidian. We have a decent amount of obsidian. Um, how did we get that? Uh, I think it was in one of the storage chests. I don't know if it was in this village. It may have been, or if it was in like... um. The, the asteroid we found, or, or the meteor, or whatever you'd call it. I think it's an asteroid, and then it hits the ground, and then it's a meteor? Or is it a meteor, and then it's an asteroid? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'll find out in the comments. Um, okay, so, to actually get stuff moving, because I've been talking for, like, what? Ten mi- ten minutes! Okay, I, I am- uh, I am sorry! <laughs> I, I, no way it's been ten minutes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's, let's get to work. All right. I'm going to have to place this gravel. We've got our nice shovel so I can easily pick this stuff up, even though we'd probably just ulti mine it anyway. Um, we'll get this all set up. Awesome. Come on, flint. Nice. We've got one flint. That's enough to, uh, at least make a flint and steel. Awesome. We've obviously got the obsidian. Um, as for the portal. Yeah. Hey guys, I, I may or may not push you through the portal because you are very annoying. Um, well, I kind of want to place the tree farm over here. <laughs> so I don't really want to place the nether portal there. Um, we'll place it here. This is this is a nice spot. Um, I'll dig out the ground. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. boom. How do we want to do the top? Sure. Classic. Deep slate. Bam, bam. And... <sighs> okay. So. Oh, you know what? Oh, but I have a brilliant idea in terms of stuff actually happening this episode what we can do because currently i've got leather cap and leather boots let's solve that problem oh let's solve that problem <laughs> we shouldn't be lagging i'm the only one on um how am i gonna pull that one off okay so i actually need more flint <laughs> all right we got three more flint that's actually really really good i would like to combine our oak logs with this flint to make a few more of these um template boards um I actually do want quite a few. I probably... Yeah, I guess that's all I can make. Um, we'll sleep through the night. And I'm going to make two things. I'm going to make armor, obviously. Yeah. Uh, defend us a bit. Oh, I can make a sword as well. Well, we'll make armor, probably a sword. Uh, and probably also a repair kit. So, the repair kit is this guy here. He'll need a piece of stone and a stick. I think he can use, like, um... He might, he might even just be able to use, like, that stuff. Like, just andesite as it is. Yeah. Instead of, you know, needing stones. That's pretty good. Um, did we have actual sticks? I know I could be using the machine, but, like... It's a little bit... It's a little janky. <laughs> if I'm honest. Um, okay. So. Crude repair kit. Here we go. Awesome. And so, in this guy, I can place iron. And as you can see, it fills up that uh, bar, right? And then, in my inventory, when I'm out and about, I can combine it with my tools... And it will use up, it'll use up a fair bit, but it will repair the thing, which I guess is pretty cool. There we go. Somewhat repaired. Awesome. <laughs> sure. Um, okay. So what do I want to make? Um, I mean, I do want to make armor, but I feel like a sword could be pretty good too. Let's make a sword first. It doesn't cost that many, you know, little template things. So let's give it a shot. If I were to make it out of emerald, what are we looking at? Attack damage of two. Plus three. So an attack damage of five, is that what it's telling me? If I was to use iron, the attack damage would be, it looks like the same. So that would obviously just be a better alternative. We do have diamonds. We've got a fair bit. I don't see me using them all. You know what I mean? So like, 
I don't mind necessarily spending them. This would be an attack damage of three plus three. So just an attack damage of six. I, I might be misunderstanding this, um, but that's what it looks like. And I kind of like, that doesn't seem that good. You know what I mean? Um, if we search ingot, what else do we have? Invar and gold. Um, oh, sorry, zinc and gold. Nah. <laughs> nah. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'll just use iron. Why not? It'll still be a better tool than the one that we've got, so why not? That can go there. Um, do I just want to put a stick on it? Attack damage of six, so it clearly is a little bit different, I think, because the uh, stick technically has, like, um, what should we call it? Uh, like a, a bonus effect. Yeah, we'll just craft this guy. Whatever. There we go. Cool. I don't need that sword. Awesome. <laughs> let's 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 keep the ball the ball rolling. Um, all right. So next up, I would like to make a chest piece. Here it is. Now this guy, I could make out of emerald, and it would have an armor of six and a toughness of one, which seems pretty cool. If I did the same out of diamond. It would be an armor of eight and a toughness of two, which is substantially better. <laughs> the question is, do we want to do it? Um, now, I think if we go in here, I, I was told as well. Let me just try and find it real quick. Yeah, um, Bree665 told me that there's um, blocks that we use to actually combine the metals and the gems for silent gear. Um... I knew that you could combine them and like mix and match like emeralds and diamonds, for example, to get like a little bonus. Um, but you used to be able to just do that in the crafting table. But now there's actual, there's machines that do that. So there's graders, salvages, chargers, a metal alloy. And then I think this is what we want. Creates compounds of dust and gems, maybe? Yeah, because we've got the compounds of metals and then this is the compounds of gems. This guy would cost us some stuff that we don't really have. So, purple as well. Jeez. Um, so, yeah, that won't happen for a little while. So, the question is, do I want to make this out of diamond? Or do we want to spend our iron? Um, it's rough, isn't it? <laughs> I, I'm going to spend the diamonds. I, I can't help myself. We'll do that. And what is it? It's the chess piece plate. So then how do I combine this? I just craft it again? Oh, okay. And this is going to have armor 8 toughness. Yeah. Okay, we'll just do that. Awesome. <laughs> cool. Nice. We've got a diamond chest piece. Um, do I want to make the other bits? Um, I think we're fine. <laughs> we're, we're most definitely not fine, but I'm going to pretend that we are just so that I can, uh, you know, get moving here. Um, all right, so I'm going to jump in. We're mainly looking for nether quartz. If we happen to find something like, um, uh, what you may call it, like glowstone or something, we'll grab that too. But I'll jump in and fingers crossed we're somewhere reasonable. <laughs> so it's always a, it's always a risk heading into the, uh, into the nether. Oh, another thing I'll do is I'm going to mute all of the nether portal teleporting sounds because, I mean, is that not just horrible? There we go. Now it's now it's silent. Okay, so how are we? We don't have gold armor on. That could be a problem. Zinc nether. Nether gold. I could mine up some gold. I don't think we'll be here long. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just need what I'm what I've come for. Scoria. Tin nether. Crimson iron. That was um for the metal alloy. So I'll grab that. I think it might just also be a good um you know metal to use. We'll pick up that stuff. Nether Quartz. Okay, awesome. We'll grab that. So that's pretty much all we want. I'm just wondering if there's any... Um, oh, what's this stuff? Tin. I'm just wondering if there's anything worth grabbing um, before we run off. You know what I mean? Like if there's a... Oh, oh. <laughs> Population. People. <laughs> I was going to say like, um, you know, like this, for example. If that's easy to get to, where I don't think it'll be easy to get to later on, then we may just quickly jump up here and grab it. Um, so that we have some, and I don't have to travel far, you know what I mean? So I'll jump up here, 22 blocks. Sounds good to me. And that's a stack of glowstone. Cool. Yeah, alright, sweet. We'll pick this up as well. Nice. And I will meet you guys back at the base. Or do I want to check out that? Is that just gold? I can't tell if that's gold or if it's something cooler. Yeah, I, th I think I saw it for like, for like a half second. I think it is gold. Sweet. Alrighty, so, um, 
let's let's see if we can do this. <laughs> Nether quartz goes in there. The rest can go in the system. Um, redstone, we've got a decent amount. We don't need to use all of it. How many do we need? So a deployer will place seeds uh, or saplings, right? It'll place blocks in general. Um, so we're going to have this thing placing saplings behind the saw. So we're going to be chopping trees and placing saplings. Makes sense. So I need it to be just as long as the contraption is wide. And I think we could, we probably could get away with honestly just one, but I reckon two would be probably perfect, at least for now. So I'm going to craft two of these. I'm then going to see if we can get our hand on some sandpaper. That is sand and paper. We don't have paper. That's fine. I think we've got sugar cane. The question is, did we plant more sugar cane? Oh, the kelp looks beautiful. Um, I don't know if we planted more sugar cane. Because, I, yeah, okay. I'm, I may just want to actually use our sugar cane. <laughs> you know what I mean? Make sure that we've got more growing. Um, do we have snad? No. Okay. <laughs> so snad is like, um, it was pretty much to settle the debate of whether it's better to grow sugar cane on sand or on um, grass. And so they made snad. Um, just for some, I guess, reference, <laughs> so that you're not just wondering why I just had the, the question of whether there's snap or not. Um, yeah, so I need, I need more. Do we, do we see any on the map? So that's what it looks like, that shade of green right there. Do we see more of that shade of green? I think we do it. That's, yeah, that's, that's actually Shukin right there. Okay. Is that going to be the easiest to get to? I think, is this Batman? Oh, it's a bat. Okay. <laughs> Everything, everything's fine. I'm, I'm not losing my mind. All right, I'll head over here because allegedly there's some sugar cane. Um, yeah. Oh, there's only two of it though. Oh, but I could grab one back at the base. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that'll be fine. Well, you want to see something pretty cool. I, I was going to just walk past it, but the nether, like the light from it. I know it's oh, <laughs> places to go, people to be. Um, but the glow being red from the, the nether portal, even though it's like Clearly, like, it should be very purple. I reckon that's pretty cool, because it's sort of like the hell, or, you know, the nether light coming through, right? Where it's, like, properly... Look, like, it's kind of weird that the nether portal's purple and made of obsidian, where that's kind of, like... That's the whole... That's the ends thing, you know? Um, anyhow, let me... I, I got a bit distracted there. We'll grab this. That's enough for our paper. And then we'll make some sandpaper, and everyone will be happy. So, paper. Awesome. Um, boom, boom. Sandpaper. We just need one of them. We chuck that in our offhand. Um, you can press F to like quick swap stuff in your offhand. Um, and then you hold right click while holding the quartz. And I'm not eating it, I promise. <laughs> um, but we are polishing it um, to be nice and shiny. Okay, so next up we can probably do the rest of this stuff. Now I don't think we have a lot, if any, of these plates, um, but we can obviously make them with that hammer that exists somewhere. So, <laughs> we need two. Awesome. I'm going to be a little bit careful. I don't want to convert all of my stuff into uh, plates. You know what I mean? Um, so we've got two tubes. Cool. Um, while we're on the topic of things, let's get the brass hand taken care of. So we're going to need two of these. So we need... Ooh. We either need double the... I don't, I don't want to make double the stuff. But I also don't really want to have to set up a press. Um, ooh. <laughs> I'm not... You know what? A block of iron? Jeez. They're not cheap. Alright, let's... <sighs> I have a feeling I'm going to have to go mine some more iron or something. I know we've got some smelting. That might be enough, but... <laughs> Alright, hold on. We need we need to set up a press. We need to set up a mechanical press. Um, what do I have? I have one piece. <laughs> really? We don't even have any more shafts? That seems insane to me. Okay. Um, sure. <laughs> Place that there. Craft one. Um, Inside alloy. I do need at least one. We're going to need a lot more of this stuff. To, there's, a, there's a lot that we need. <laughs> there's a lot that we need to get this done. Um, okay. We've got this. One step at a time. All right. So, mechanical press is built. This guy needs some rotational energy. Um, hmm. I don't know the best spot to put it. Outside of like stealing it from from this part here, or building a completely new one, or 
Yeah, or, or else I don't really know where to slap it down. I can place it on the back of here, but that doesn't really look good. Um, where else could I place it that would work? Hmm. None of these work. And I don't really know if I have the stuff right now to, like, <laughs> you know, make it work. You know what we could do instead? Ah, I don't know if I have the stuff for it. We'll, we'll try. Um, we could make a hand crank. This guy here. So it's just going to cost one alloy, and it's going to cost some planks, but we can make a hand crank. And what we can do then is if we find a tall enough spot, so for example here, we can place it down, and we can place the hand crank on, and then we can just manually um, spin the thing. Now, obviously there's nothing to press, so it's, I guess, not moving. Um, but once we get our brass made, we can we can start using that guy. <laughs> okay, that's, that's the plan. That's the plan. Um, so I need eight brass, right? Um, so to pull that one off, we're going to need eight of this brass dust. So we're going to need to do two recipes, six copper dust, six zinc dust. To do that, we're going to be using our ore hammers, um, and our raw ores. So I need, hmm, I, I do have one. Oh, it did work. Okay. So I need six of that. Awesome. And then I need one of the zinc. So I'll try that as well. Um, oh, I wanted to use... Not the ingot. I would have preferred to use um, the ore. That is my bad. That's fine. We've got a little bit extra. Um, okay, cool. So we obviously combine that together. We get a little bonus zinc that I guess, I don't know, I can smelt up, sure. Um, and then our dust, I need to smelt. Right? Yeah, I think so. Um, don't want to make it into that stuff. We'll do that. Smelt that up. And we'll smelt the other half there. Very nice. Okay. So that's all coming together. That's good. Um, and then I, I think we just need a lot more like andesite and stuff. You know what I mean? And although we have andesite, we, we don't have a lot. Andesite alloy. Um, I, we'll probably do the zinc nuggets still. That seems to make the most sense. We'll bookmark that if we can. Make some nuggets. One, two. And then andesite alloy. Make some minis. It lets me. Four alloys? <laughs> hmm. I'm going to go mine some more. I, I came down here to mine stuff. I, I figured I should probably go into my mine and see if I can find um, andesite because it'll be in like a much larger chunk of the stuff. Um, and yet, here I am. <laughs> not finding any. Yeah, and then we're, and then we're not even in uh, like stone territory. Okay. Okay. Um, we've got more now. Andesite alloy. Beautiful. We've got a decent amount of andesite in there. Um... It's not on the front page, so I guess we don't have that much, but we, uh, oh no, I've got it on me. 45, nice. We're, we're good, we're good. Um, so, the brass is done. We can grab this stuff. Um, now we need to crush it under here. Alternatively, I could set up a depot here, which I probably should, but, oh, assuming I can just throw it um, far enough, we should be good. And then I spin this, and it works. And it's not that slow with the hand crank, to be honest, but it does drain your hunger, I believe. So as you can see down there, um, we're sort of taking away a hunger point just about every time we um, press something. Um, but it's pretty good. And so, I don't know if it's gotten all of it just yet. I don't think it has. I think there'll just be like one pile of the stuff when it's done. Like that. Yep, eight brass plates. Beautiful. And so this should be able to turn into a brass hand or more say two of them. Two brass hands. The deploy is going to cost two andesite casings, so we will grab out logs that do not exist, and I will go chop down some of these trees. Boom. Thank you. That's a stack. Um, I'm not prepared to deal with that mess. <laughs> I was like, should I get another stack? No. No, the answer is no, I should not. Um, okay, so. Uh, at the moment, I just need two, so I guess we'll, we'll do two at a time. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That could have ripped apart half my base, but luckily it didn't. Um, and so we should now have two deployers. So we'll get those. One, two. Um, yep. Awesome. We've got them. Okay. Whew. Now, what else do we need? Well, we need two saws. So these are going to cost us three iron plates, two casings. I'm just going to craft them like this just because it's a bit easier. One, two, three. Um, it's three for each and I do want two of them. So we'll go ahead and grab six. Um, and then of course we need two more of these guys. Um, which is easily done. Boom, boom. Um, boom. Why not? And then, two mechanical saws. So these guys will chop down the tree. Awesome. 
Um, you can actually use a combo of the mechanical saw and a hand crank, and you can take it over to big trees and chop them down in one uh, swoop, which I'll show you. All right, so if we grab um, the hand crank, I could probably do it to this mess of trees, but I, I do want some of the redwood, so we'll we'll see if we can make our way over there. It looks like I might be able to make a shortcut through here. And we'll go see if we can chop down an entire tree um, without ultimine, without needing to, you know, climb the tree. We'll, we'll give it a shot. Um, now, when you do this, it makes a mess. <laughs> Like a, like a proper mess. And I'll show you how, and I'll show you why as we do this. Um, so we'll, we'll go for a proper tree. Now, to pull this one off, you're actually going to want to chop down part of the tree, especially for these big ones. Specifically, you want it so that there's only one piece of wood touching the ground, and that is obviously going to be, um, quote-unquote, the tree. So we'll try to get everything but, I guess, that block there, maybe. I guess we could do that block there, so I'll chop the rest of these bits. Okay, so this is the only bit of tree connected to the ground. Hopefully this works now. <laughs> um, we're going to grab our saw, shift click it so that it's facing this direction. We'll place the hand crank on, and we'll start spinning. Now, as you can see, the block is breaking. <laughs> it didn't work. Really? Okay, why did... Hmm. It should have worked. <laughs> I'm wondering if it doesn't consider this a tree because it is from Biomes of Plenty. Which would be a little bit weird. It could also be that it's like connected to other trees. That could be the problem. I hope I would hope it's not, but maybe it is. <gasps> maybe it's not. The entire tree chopped. Now, we'll wait for the fake bits to disappear. And where's all the stuff? Hmm. Okay, we got some of it. We got a lot of it, actually. In the past, it would, yeah, fall in a direction. And I think that's what we're looking at. I think it fell in the water and then, like, splashed off in that direction. So, we'll pick back our stuff. Uh, but yeah, how cool is that? I mean, chopped a whole tree. We've got a stack of wood already. And as I run past here with my magnetic pickaxe, I imagine we're going to be getting um, quite a bit more as well. We'll grab all this. Grab all that. Even like in terms of getting charged. Look at how far it's gone. Yep, still a little bit more. I think that's I think that's the end. I don't think there's there's more beyond that point. But that like it it falls. You know what I mean? It, it makes a proper mess. Um redwood saplings, I'm just gonna get rid of those. Twigs I'll get rid of. And then pretty much just all this extra stuff. But yeah, so um they're pretty good. Like, it, it'll it'll chop a tree. <laughs> and it's not necessarily bad to get it before actually setting up some sort of, um, you know, actual auto tree farm contraption. So, we've got the stuff. Places saplings, chops down trees. Awesome. That's pretty much it. The next step is actually making the thing that moves. So, the first thing we're going to need is a cart assembler. Um, he's relatively cheap. He'll use logs, andesite alloy, and a redstone dust. And there he goes. Now, he needs to be placed on a track, so we're going to need some rails. I think you can just use vanilla rails, so we'll give it a shot. This is where it gets a little bit expensive. Um, so, I obviously want to make some sort of track, <laughs> and we don't have much to work with, like, at all. It doesn't need to be a big track. I'm thinking I could place a powered rail here, send it this way, essentially do a 5x5 five five of a setup, you know what I mean? So one, two, three, four, five. And then that's not the worst thing you've ever seen, I guess. There we go. And then obviously we're going to be placing the um, the powered rails in those spots. <laughs> it's very small. Look, it's very small. I could make it go a bit further. Let's do that because it is a little bit. It's embarrassingly small. Um, let's craft a little bit more. Everything's fine. Oh, you know what? Ah. In the mine, there was a there was a mine shaft, wasn't there? Oh, if only, if only. Maybe next time I'm down there, I'll. <laughs> next time, I'm never going mining again. <laughs> but next time I'm down there, I could probably uh, grab the stuff. So let's do um, one, two, three, four, five. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or have I have I gotten too ambitious? I think I've gotten a little bit too ambitious. 
Oh, actually, it's perfect, because look. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's how much you get from a powered rail. Awesome. Nice. So I think this is 10 by 10 by 10, um, just for reference for those playing along at home. <laughs> um, so, powered rail. Craft one of these. I'm assuming that all of this works the way that I'm thinking it works. It's entirely possible that I'm just mistaken. And this isn't how you uh, how you do this. <laughs> um, Alright, so I want that recipe. I'm going to craft all of it, if it'll let me. Um, awesome. <laughs> yep, there we go. And we'll get that stuff cooking. Alrighty, we've got enough to make the powered rail. So we'll grab that. Um, while we're at it, we'll grab, what, probably like six levers. So we'll grab that. One, two. Oh, we don't have, we don't have cobble. How do we not have cobble? <laughs> How does this happen? How do we not have cobble? Pebbles? Nice. <laughs> we now have some cobble. Um, I will probably just need four, I think. Uh, four's probably... That's eh, fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, I did not need to grab that. That's fine. I think... Do you reckon just placing... Actually, you know what? I've realized I don't actually know how to get this thing to move reliably because... When it hits a tree, it stops. How do I get it to move? Does it? Hmm. I don't actually know. <laughs> I'll be honest. I've gone... Is this going to work? I don't think it will. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a shot. Um, okay, so... We're trying that out. That's on. We're going to place down our card assembler here. Um, this guy's actually going to get a lever as well. Awesome. And so, on this guy... We build stuff. We essentially build our contraption. Um, yeah. So we'll, we'll go give that a shot. Um, I'm just trying to think, do I, what do I need? <laughs> how, are we, how are we doing this? Um, I do need a chest. Um, so we'll go here. We'll search chest. We'll craft. We can probably get away with one for now. We'll need a chest. Um, I may need a chassis. I'm wondering if... Just a radial chassis will do the job. I don't think we have enough stuff for it, but, you know, one, one could dream. Let's go zinc, craft four of those. Oh. Okay, that didn't really work. That's fine. That goes in there. Um, andesite. <laughs> How much did we get? 19. Brilliant. All right. Radial chassis. I'll craft one. The only thing I'm concerned with at the moment is getting my hands on glue. Because we need to stick blocks together so that they'll all move around together. That's sort of the issue at the moment. To do that, you can use a slime ball, but obviously I would need a slime ball. So lime dye and dough, that's an option. Um, alternatively, glue, but I think glue uses slime, yeah. Oh, oh actually, what was that other block? Um, a goo ball from the undergarden. <laughs> of course, the goo ball. Um, okay. So if we wanted to do the slime ball, white dye and green dye is an option. Growing dye is another option. Milling up just about any flower, it looks like. Gets you a 10% chance. Should I just make a millstone real quick? I I think I should. Because there's a few things I've wanted to like get that you need a mill to get. You know what I mean? So I, I reckon we just do it. Um, so, hold on. Millstone, awesome. Like, we don't need to hook it up to anything, I guess. We could probably just get away with, um, uh, what's the word? The hand crank. Did I not craft a cogwheel? What am I missing? Plank. Okay. All right, brilliant. Millstone, wonderful. I'm going to place this guy, um, here so that I can get away with placing the hand crank underneath. Awesome. Now, flower. <laughs> How many, um, hashtag flowers? Nope, that didn't really work. Um, I guess I'll just look through. We've got roses. Were, the, were these on the table? That would get us green dye, and then I'd just need, um, white dye. I'll, I'll have a look, though, because I'm sure we've got some other flowers. <laughs> I say that as I see no other flowers. Okay, well, um, do we have any actual flowers I can dig up? Yeah, I've got some over there. Okay, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll go gather some flowers, and we'll see how we go. It, it, it looks like the entirety of this contraption is coming together right at the end, <laughs> which I, I guess is to be expected um, with how we do stuff here, but 
I guess it's a little bit disappointing. Um, so let me double check. Let me bookmark it too. Lime die from a millstone. A pink tulip. A red tulip. Lily of the Valley. I'm just wondering if it's like any Minecraft block or if it's only like pink, orange, and um, white flowers. It looks like it's only pink, orange, and white. And red. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, oh, but, but not even these types of red. It's like a special... Okay, awesome. Oh, you know what? Um, we should crush up the, um, the red flowers to get the, um, the, uh, what, oh, that's only light gray, really? Um, I was going to say to get the green and then we can just combine it with this. Okay, there's a 20% chance. So, so yeah, um, I think we're good. I'll pick up the white flowers as I run past. Um, we'll try to get our hands on white dye and then green dye from the, the rose bushes. And I think we're good. Um, cause I ran around and I think this biome is just going to have pretty much all the same flowers. Um, from the most part is what it looks like. So I guess, I guess we got to work with what we got. All right. Uh, we got one. That's honestly enough, or at least it, it could be. Um, we'll chuck that stuff in. I might need to eat. Um, but yeah, I mean, this should be good. Oh, um, yeah, we're after green dye. <laughs> I, I'm like, oh, we got the red dye. Ooh, we're sadly not after red dye. Boom. Nope. Oh, green dye. Awesome. So we'll craft those together for lime dye. Awesome. Then we'll go and borrow some... Uh... What's happening here? Why is the stuff not washing fast enough? I swear we, like, made this perfect. And yet here we are. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, hmm. I, I think some gets through, but then the rest shouldn't, if that somehow makes sense. Um, because it should be. That one goes through straight away. And then this one goes through straight away. But then because of the speed... This third one shouldn't be able to get on there fast enough. Like, it should um, wash before it happens. And yet, that's clearly not what's happening here. Um, okay, yeah, that, that, that is happening. Hmm. But, yeah, I guess, I guess this guy doesn't make enough fast enough for that bottleneck to exist. And so we, we get... We get this problem. All right. Well, <laughs> this. Uh, really? All right. I'll do. I'll do a sun dance. All right. So, sun dance completed. Um, the footage is savable. <laughs> um, I was gonna grab dough actually. So, I'm actually just gonna borrow that. Um, so we can combine dough with lime and we can make slime balls. Awesome. So we'll run over here. We've got our radial chassis, and here's how this guy's gonna work. We'll place him down. We're gonna right click either side with slime. Um, we are then going to place our stuff. <laughs> somehow. Somehow this is this is meant to all come together. Um, oh, the redwood looks stunning. Let's give that a shot. So I'm going to place two of these here. It's going to be hard to tell what we're doing unless I make a number of things. And I think it's worth making them because otherwise you're just going to have to trust what I'm saying. And, and who wants to do that? So we're going to need to make a wrench. And, and, and honestly, that's pretty much the main thing. This guy's going to need three gold plates. Um, so in the gold department, um, I will be placing oh, three gold down here and crushing it all. All right. We've got the gold plates. Um, I believe we need another cogwheel. So I'll preemptively grab one of those wrench stick, three plates, cogwheel, and we have our wrench. Brilliant. So let's show you how this works. Now the radial chassis, it works in direction. So currently it's got, um, an eight block direction and then a circle, right? So a pretty massive range. So we can scroll this down. Um, oh, click and hold to edit. Oh, wow. Oh, that's new. Okay, so we can change the radius. So for example, I probably only want one, to be honest. So this now has a radius of one. What that means is if I place a plank here and we hover over it, you can see it doesn't highlight that. If I was to change this to two, you can see it highlights that. So that's pretty cool. Um, so that way it won't, you know, grab trees or stuff. Uh, whenever it stopped. So the next thing we want to do is place this stuff on. Now, because we've got a radial chassis, it should work in such a way that I can place these two here 
and it should they should be connected. Yeah, you can see they're still highlighted even though they're not directly connected because it's it's sort of connecting a radius around it, right? Um, so then I should be able to place deployers. These guys, I don't want them like that. I actually want them um, vertically. So I'm wondering, oh, well, I guess not quite like that. Okay, well, <laughs> we tried. Um, oh, and why? What have I done to deserve this? All right, I got to actually sleep that time, so it should hopefully stay away for a little, a little longer. Um, all right, that, that, that that's fine. We can just <laughs> we can place them like these. So deployer. Um, no, nope, I'm gonna have to shift click it. Yep, that makes sense. Deployer. No, nope, okay, we're gonna have to jump up top. <laughs> Hold on. Deployer and deployer. Nice, they're facing the same direction. They don't have to, but you know, it's nice. We're gonna break both of these, just just to pick them up. Um, and then we need some saplings. So, um, I might just do this tree, so I, once again, I don't have to deal with that massive mess over there. Um, we'll grab this out. We've got saplings. So I'm gonna place these on here as a filter. So these guys will only place saplings. They won't start placing um, logs everywhere, right? Which um, would be a slight problem. Um, so that should be good. We do need a chest, so this guy can probably get away with being there. Awesome. And so as this is, it should go around the entire thing, chopping trees, storing them in the chest, and placing saplings behind it. That's how that should work. And they'll place them, obviously, in these blocks. Um, this could be a problem, the fact that it is not at the bottom, as in, like, not down here. I don't really know if I can fix that. Um, I could try something. This will be a bit of an interesting one. If I... Hmm. Ah, uh, I mean... That might work. <laughs> that might, hold on. Does that grab it? Yeah, that does grab it, as you can see. And then I'm guessing under here, I could slime... Ball. And the slime ball doesn't get used up, as you can see. We could grab this. Make sure that I wrench this down. Set this to just be, like, one. <laughs> um, I'll pick up the lever... Because obviously it's in a bit of an awkward spot. Uh, and so these guys I want to actually obviously be at the bottom level. So, do I want this to actually be a chassis as well? Maybe. Make sure that's still grabbing everything. It's not grabbing these now, but I think I can fix that by placing these here. Right, and then they're grabbed. Yes, yeah, so that's got the chest. And then under here, <laughs> hold on. I should be able to place that there, that there. And so it doesn't, it doesn't have anything, but I think it can. And what I may do is open up our backpack, if I remember the button, and just quickly make some stairs to place like that. And then possibly that's grabbing it, that's grabbing that. Everything is grabbing everything except for this guy um, because I think I forgot to uh, what do we call him slime ball him so that should be fine slime ball you awesome chuck you on and you're now grabbing him it's massive range we do not want him to pull all that dirt away so let's just bring that back down to one to keep that safe so yeah but make sure that you you know double check what you're doing before you do it it's always good a good a good thing to do and so in theory this guy works now the problem is Every time I would need to get wood out, I would have to stop it and take wood out, which isn't a horrible thing. And also, I should probably just double check that the thing even works because I'll be honest, I'm not certain that it does. Um, I may also need to actually go under the thing um, because we need to apply redstone um, to get this guy working. Although I guess I can probably get away with that there. Maybe. Okay, so. <laughs> that didn't work, did it? No. Okay. I just want to double check a few things. I want to make sure that we're not somehow bringing the card assembler. No, that's fine. Um, what does this say? Cart movement mode. Click and hold to edit. Always face towards motion. Pause it while rotating. Lock rotation. Always face towards motion. That's what we want. And then we just simply want it to <laughs> transform. Um, 
Yeah, I need to apply redstone to that thing. I think directly, to be honest. Um, you know what? I might be able to just we'll shift right click that. I might be able to place it here. No? Okay. <laughs> okay. Please don't make me redesign. Oh, here we go. Is that not how it's done? I swear that's how it's done. Oh! A minecart. <laughs> we, we need an actual minecart. That is that is a rookie, rookie mistake on my end. I apologize. Let's go here. Let's search mine. Oh. Minecart. Oh. Oh. I can totally spell. Minecart. Craft one of those. Here we go. And should be as simple as this. <laughs> Alright, I think it needs redstone, but then I think it'll be as simple as that. So we'll turn the redstone on. And I guess we'll spin him the other way. And there he goes. And so, I can give him a push until he gets to the, uh, the powered rails. And then he should take off, hopefully. There he goes. And as you can see, he stops when he needs to chop something. Okay, he didn't ulti mine the thing because I guess it wasn't within range. That's fine. Ah, wait. Huh? Did I turn the thing back off? And so we'll leave that on. I don't know. We'll take that off. Um, all right. So he's, he's almost over there. That's fine. He, he should now just go in a full circle, as you can see. And it looks like he'll make the whole distance. That's good. I'm going to chop everything um, and then place a log down to hopefully get him to, to chop it. Um, so let's hold on. See if I can grab all that stuff. Let's place one here. Oh, oh it's going to kill me. <laughs> okay, now we're good. All right. So let's see. How cool is that? And this is all just particles? Oh, maybe not all of it. Um, <laughs> but it should have all just been particles, I think. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, I'll clean this up. I will say, a severe lack of saplings being placed. Um, what I'm going to have to do, real quick, uh, <laughs> is place this down and have him, uh, you know, stop doing what he's doing. So, I need it to be placing stuff. I believe you can figure that guy with this. So, um, if we look at... Hmm. I don't know where I need to look. Is it the side? I guess. Hold right click. Okay. I'm pretty sure... Do I right click the actual thing at the bottom? Yeah, there we go. So, I'm pretty sure that's how it should work. But maybe I'll turn it into a fist, since obviously the way that it currently is, it isn't working. Um, we'll go ahead and flick that back on. We'll give this guy a spin, and then jump out of the way before it gets us. Um, oh, see, he's, he's just punching. No, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, hold on. I think you can just pick up the whole thing. Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's just detach it real quick. Um, yeah, I, I'm a little bit confused. I believe it should. The only other thing I'm thinking is that it's like too low. You know what I mean? Maybe it needs to be taller. But I swear that should be fine. Do I need to try it again? Maybe now that it's actually got the saplings in it, it's fine somehow. Um, I, I, hold on. <laughs> I've confused myself. I filled up the gap that I made. Um, okay. Boom. Boom. Awesome. Yeah, it's just not placing stuff. What do we, what do I, what do I think the issue is there? Um, let's go to player, hold W, and see if it'll tell us um, what the deal is. Maybe there's a completely different block. Maybe it doesn't work that way anymore. It says it can place blocks, so that's good. Um, it's. Got the stuff that we want. Items can be inserted automatically. Yep, that all looks cool. They carry a filter slot. Yep, awesome. 
and it'll only activate when it has what it has. So we've got it currently to only use saplings. It's got, allegedly, saplings in its hand. Um, if we consult the chest, there's more saplings in there. Can I borrow the saplings? One sapling. Oak sapling. Hold on. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, sure. Hmm. I mean... Okay, okay. Come on. You can do this. You can critically think. What's gone wrong here? What am I doing wrong? <laughs> oh, God. Come on. All right, I, I have one thing I can test. It's possible, maybe, that they're at the wrong height. You know what I mean? So if we place a hand crank, we can double check this. It didn't place anything. Um, so it's clearly, it's at the wrong height, right? That makes perfect sense. So how do we want to, how do we want to pull this one off? Um, we want to pick this guy up. You know what? I think that does make sense. I, I think I do agree with this. <laughs> I think that was just me being incredibly dumb. I had to, I had to step back and just like, just like sit for a second and be like, what am I doing? What's, what's the problem here? Well, what's actually going on? Um, here we go. A stone ax. Okay, sure. Oh, wait, does that mean... Hold on. If I fill this with cobble, are you telling me that I can repair my iron pickaxe with that? No. Yep. Yeah. No. Repair efficiency, 30%. No. Yeah, that... No. Okay, no. Okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah. We'll pretend everything's fine. Um, I'm thinking I... Stick with my, um, whatever we're doing here with the redwood, uh, stairs. Pull that off. Have that go there. Have that go there. And place this guy up one as well. Two deployers. Place that. Okay. <laughs> I think you can spin them with the wrench, to be honest. So I should probably just do that. Um, but that's fine. Boom. Brilliant. Okay. We're good again. You receive that. You receive that. And we'll place this in here so that hopefully it's like evenly divvied up. Um, okay. For, uh, just before we continue, is everything attached? No, because I forgot to glue that part. That's fine. We'll somehow do that. Let me say, by the way, the whole um, scrolling this thing, like using this slider instead of scrolling it with the scroll wheel, amazing. The amount of times I've accidentally scrolled stuff in uh, previous versions of Create... It's, it's honestly such a good feature. Like, it's genuinely insane. Um, let's have this on. So this should work, okay? <laughs> I know. The moment we've all been waiting for is about to be upon us. Give me a second. Get this guy going. There he is. And I, as you can hear, I think it's working. <laughs> Why did he stop? Is this... No, this is off. Really? Oh, he turned... Yeah, this guy flicked it off. That makes perfect sense. That's what he does over there as well. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense. So, what I actually need to do is either place like a block of redstone or a redstone torch or bury this guy, which um, it's probably just easier, to be honest. That shouldn't turn it off. And we'll find out. So there we go. He's placed all of his saplings. He doesn't turn it off. How cool is that? Um, so, we just need to make sure that it's safe to... Um, for him to just go around here mindlessly. And by that, I mean no other trees getting attached or something accidentally. So I think that's pretty good. That looks like a good range. And there we go. That's, that's it. That's all she wrote. That's our, that's our little contraption. What do we think? It's, I will say it might be a little too fast, but I don't really know if I can really fix that right now, but it is pretty fast. Um, I was going to mention before, and I think I was like starting to mention it and, and sort of uh, got distracted, but currently we have to stop this guy to take out, you know, the wood that he's got in him. We don't always have to do that. We can invest. I know this episode's probably a wrapping up point, um, but there is something called the portable um, storage interface. This guy, if we can make you, and he looks pretty cheap, andesite casing and a shoot. We're going to want two of those. So I think we've got the stuff. If not, 
I think we can get the stuff. Um, shoot you one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think we do need a little bit more iron, but once again, that should be fine because... Hold on. <laughs> really, am I not allowed to look that up? Um, iron, dust, ore hammer. Craft that. Brilliant. Smelt that. Smelt that. Um, but, but yeah, if we go ahead and make, um, the shoot, like that, oh yeah, you get four from it, that, okay, so that was actually plenty, that's fine. Um, and then I obviously need, um, one, two of these, boom, 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 craft two of those with two of those, and we get portable storage interfaces. The only thing we need next is some sort of storage. I'm going to go for a sophisticated storage. The question is just whether I go sophisticated chest or sophisticated barrel. Because I believe we do have both. Limited iron barrel. What does that mean? Barrel's there. Do we even have chests? Jungle gold barrel three. There's a lot of barrels. Okay, and there are chests. What do we want? Do we want a barrel? I might go for a barrel. Barrels are fun. Yeah, why, why not? Why not? Let, let, let's try for a for a um, for a barrel. We've got oak, so we'll go for this one. We want an oak iron sophisticated barrel. To do that, we need an oak sophisticated barrel. To do that, we need um, stuff that I don't have in the form of a redstone torch. We can get that. That's perfectly fine. Oak barrel. Um, there we go. Oak barrel. Cool. And then if we want to, and I don't really want it, <laughs> but we can upgrade this guy. Oh. And so we should have more saplings? Oh, how cool is that? Um, but yeah, we should be able to in the future. Um, upgrade this guy. So, what do I need to do? Well, for starters, I do need to stop this guy. So, we'll place this here. And we'll let him come back around and stop himself. We'll... Oh, hold on. <laughs> we'll let him come back around and stop himself. There we go. And so we need to place a portable storage interface on this guy somewhere. Probably here. Which, will that make it look a little weird? Probably. Is that a problem? Hopefully not. Um, we'll slime ball this side. We'll place the storage interface. I could place it on the, on the back, but I think that would look even weirder. So we'll, we'll just do this. So we'll place this guy here. And there he is. I'll double check before we go too crazy. He is attached. Awesome. As far as I'm concerned, this guy's good to continue doing what he was doing. And that might actually be enough to finish off the... Um, the thing, but I can pick that up, and we can get back to work. Hmm. Why didn't he chop that? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> okay, hold on. I, I do have an idea to try to fix this. We'll stop him next time he comes around. What if we do like a bend? You know what I mean? For example, instead of having it there, what if I have it there? I know he'll still place saplings like in that spot, but it might make the corner like usable. If that, if that somehow oddly makes sense. Um, I don't know, but we'll find out. I'm just going to assume that it works. So I'll, I'll do it to every single one because that, that makes perfect sense. All right, let's see. That should chop the tree, but I'm just not sure about future trees. But once again, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. He just goes right through it. Mate, chop the bloody tree down. Is he going too fast? So he's like not turned quick enough? I think so. I, I, I think we're going too fast. Hold on. Hold on. I'll go craft more. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Alright, we've got one. Let's see how this guy does. See, yeah, if he goes slow enough, he can chop it. So it's just a matter of just enough speed to keep him going, but not too much. We'll see. Once again, we'll we'll, we'll cross the bridge when we get to it. Alright, cool. Nice. Um, so yeah, to take the items out, obviously we've got this guy here, and he's directly on this line. So what we can do, if that somehow made sense is we can grab this, um, we can go like so, place this here, we can then place this guy here, and that'll actually connect as he goes past. 
Now it needs somewhere to place the stuff and it actually needs to attempt to place the stuff. So what I'm going to do is grab out um, our item pipes. Oh, we actually have a lot more item pipes than I thought we... Oh. No, I think it was just a visual bug. Because we, <laughs> we definitely didn't have 30. Um, but that should be fine. I've got the wrench. But this should work. Now I should be able to place this here. Set that guy up to extract. And we should get this guy filled up next time he comes around. And he'll wait until he empties. How cool is that? And I think in terms of the design, that that's not too bad of a of a beginning, <laughs> we'll see. And so this thing, unless for whatever reason I want to fix it, um, we, we don't need it here anymore. So I can pick this stuff up and we can cover this back up. And it looks a lot nice now, or at least I think it does. And so yeah, he'll, literally, he'll empty everything. Obviously it's very slow at the start because he chopped that massive tree to begin with. Um, but from this point onwards, it should be pretty good. And he's still in like um, contraption form. So as you can see, he's not, you know, breaking the tree or broken by the tree. And he'll just, he'll just deposit all the stuff in here. And so that, my friends, is an automated tree farm. <laughs> it could have probably been a lot easier doing it a number of different ways, but I, this is worth it. It's definitely been worth it because this looks pretty cool. Assuming that we can actually get those uh, tricky corn ones, especially when he's going fast there. I'm not too sure. Otherwise... I don't know, we'll have to figure out a way to make him go a little slower or, or somehow make this um, more friendly. For example, the corners, we could place like um, stone or something to stop him from placing saplings in those spots. That works too, you know? Um, how much is in here? Okay. We should hopefully be near in the end. Sometimes you can see what's in the contraption, but I think you need the one probe to be, uh, to be a little bit better. Oh, and there he goes. So... Currently, we've got this, <laughs> and next time he comes around, yeah, he'll deposit the rest of his stuff. And obviously, I think the faster the pipe, the faster that'll go. I'm a little bit cons- oh, oh, no, he didn't chop that, did he? Hmm, okay. What I might do, because I don't know if it'll happen on the other sides, um, is I may just place- I don't know if planks are the play, but I'll place something there. Yeah, maybe I'll go redwood planks. Um, just to stop him from... Yeah, from placing stuff. I might just go... I don't really know how far along here, but... You know what I mean? Because, see, he'll chop that tree fine. So I reckon we do... I, I might do that on every corner, just to... Just to be safe. We're, uh, we're going to get plenty of wood. It's definitely not a problem. Um... And it kind of looks cool. So, you know, there's a... There's a win-win. The sound is very loud right now. <laughs> Alright, we, we are pretty much wrapped up though. So, um... We will say our goodbyes quite soon. But not before we take a step back and... And have a look at what we've created here. Because I am quite happy with this. What are we thinking? Oh yeah, the leaves are going to stay here. That's... That's a problem. Hmm. Okay. Darn. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Because I do like the look of this. Oh, actually, you know what? Hold on. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. I'm about to do the best loophole you've ever heard of in your life. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a framed cube. Because framed blocks was added to the mod pack um, in a recent update. And let's show, you, let's show it off. It's one of my favorite mods. What it lets you do is pretty much any block... Any block that doesn't do something else, so like you can't use a minecart block or something, right? But you can place them within- Oh! I just realized as well. Oh, the, oh, the, oh, that's awesome. So frame blocks, right? Previously, you had to turn your shaders off to see the preview of where the block's gonna place, right? For the frame block, or like just the cube, it doesn't make that much sense. But as you can see, there's a bunch of like weird angled items, small blocks, tiny edge blocks. So it's really handy to see where the stuff is. Someone, I'm, I'm not sure whether it's the frame blocks guys, I'm not sure whether it's um, the, the Oculus guys. Someone's made it work with um, shaders and that is awesome. But we can place the wood in there and it's not technically wood. It's technically a framed cube block disguised as wood. So I don't think we'll have leaves attached to it. How cool is that? Oh, actually, I really like what we've done here. This is a little bit weird. 
Um, especially that it's not centered. I'll. Y you're welcome, guys. Hold on. Hold. Ah. Hold on. Hold on. Please be fast enough. Yeah, that's fine. We're pretty much there. I just need to. <laughs> hold on. I just need to turn that on and just give it a little push. All right, sweet. And then we will fill that up. Okay, okay. That, that looks a little bit nicer. I could probably tidy that up too, but for now it's fine. Um, in fact, arguably, that would look pretty cool. Yeah, I think it would. Sweet. Okay. I don't know how that guy got there. I don't know if he's planning on staying there, but he's there, I guess. We'll see if he comes back. Um, but yeah, sweet. I'm, I'm very, very happy. So, we'll, I'll take a few screenshots. I don't really know how I'm going to fit this stuff in the thumbnail because it is a massive contraption. I could probably actually just stop it right there. Oh, that's actually... Oh, it's it's pausing for the camera. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, yeah. Sweet. All right, thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully you're enjoying it. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. Um, hopefully you're enjoying everything. I imagine you are because it is pretty fun and I'm having a lot of fun. Um, do I need to center that now? <laughs> um, anyhow, thank you for watching. Um, thank you to our donators and channel members. Um, don't feel pressured to donate or, chat or become a channel member. You don't need to. Um, the videos will happen. The servers will happen. All that fun stuff happens. I'm currently playing on, um, a little server with just like a few, um, just a few people, to be honest. There's like, well, we've got one claim. Oh, we've got a few little claims. Um, there is a public server, which I'll hop into. Yep, here we are. <laughs> oh. Um, so this is just a server for like um, my community, um, YouTube community. It's not, it's not the official server by any means. Um, but as you can see, oh, oh we've, got, we've got the max zoom out, but there, there's some further ones out that we can't see most likely. Um, but yeah, so we've got this one. Feel free to join um, through the Discord link below. You don't have to obviously, but um, all this stuff, that, that'll happen regardless. You don't need to become a channel member. Don't feel um, pressured by any, any means. Um, but yeah, thank you, regardless. Thank you to our tier three channel members, Melissi, Andre, and Final Phoenix 13. Thank you guys. If for whatever reason I ever, like if you become a channel member or something or or or, or anything like that and I don't mention it um, or, or or anything like that, I don't get, you don't get notified on YouTube or at least I don't get notified on YouTube. I don't think anyone does when you get a new member, which is insane, by the way, um, which means I have to actively check it to notice if, if there's like a new member or something. And it's one of those things where Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a cloud. <laughs> I'm like, what is, what is consuming us? Um, and it's one of those things you don't really want to just like stare at all day. You know what I mean? Like looking at the numbers, like, oh, someone left. Oh, someone joined. So it's, I, I don't look at it all the time. Um, so feel free to, you know, remind me if you ever do. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. And thank you, the viewer. Thank you for stopping by. Um, thank you if you did like and subscribe. You, you don't need to. <laughs> you watching the video is more than enough. Um, so thank you for doing that. And hopefully... I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.